Lydia Gravis, and I'm a visual artist living and working here in Ogden, Utah. And I work primarily um, in two-dimensional media, specifically works on paper. Uh, I work with a lot of lights specifically, ink, things like that. So when the pandemic started in March and I was home, um, uh, one thing that was really interesting to me is this idea of the pandemic, these little invisible microbes ruling the whole world and taking over and how something invisible could be so influential to the, on a global scale. And so I did a lot of really tiny pieces. Um, I couldn't, I didn't have a lot of time to work and I, every time I'd start working, I'd get interrupted with my kids. So I did these little pieces that didn't take a whole lot of time, but they were um, with little pieces with ink and watercolor and basically just kind of biomorphic abstractions, thinking about like the form of the coronavirus on a microscopic level and what it looks like and how it invades people's physical bodies and this kind of cellular battle that people were facing with this virus. One of the most influential projects I've worked on as an artist uh, was actually one that changed the whole kind of trajectory of my art practice. And it was both experimenting in a new style and with new materials. Historically, I'd worked with a lot of oil painting and made large atmospheric landscapes. So I moved to Ogden in 2004, and I've lived here ever since. And um, part of the reason I moved to Ogden to, in the first place because it was so affordable at the time, and I could live here as a young artist, a young professional, and um, kind of make a go of things. As I've grown to know Ogden more, and I've just grown to love it more, and I've been very fortunate in that um, professionally I work in the arts community here in Ogden. Um, I run the Mary Elizabeth D. Shaw Gallery up at Weber State, and it's really exciting for me to work in the arts here in Ogden and then also be an artist myself. I get to see things from both sides, and I get to bring artists into Ogden um, and bring, bring art to Ogden that maybe wouldn't be seen otherwise or artists that haven't ever been to Utah before, which is really exciting to bring that here to Ogden. And as an artist, it's really exciting for me to be able to, you know, 10, 20 years ago, you kind of got this message. Um, if you want to be an artist, you need to move to a coastal city. You have to live in LA or New York. And I just love that that's not true. But Ogden has a special place in my heart. I don't think I'd live anywhere else in Utah. It's really a city that's down to earth. There's a lot of just really interesting, creative people here. And I think it's a, um, a gem, and I feel lucky to be a part of that.